Hallo zusammen. In today's new episode of What if were German, we're gonna find out which potential songs and albums the guys and the girl in that wish would have made as a German band. If Nightwish were a German band, they might have called themselves Nachtwunsch. And even though the actual English band name Nightwish is a compound word as well, combining words is a way more typical thing in the German language. This fictitious yet linguistically totally possible noun would be masculine. Der Nachtwunsch. Because in almost all German compound words, it's the last term's grammatical gender which determines the overall gender of the compound word. And in this case, the last term is der Wunsch, singular. Die Wünsche, plural. The wish. And the first part is die Nacht, singular. Die Nächte, plural. The night. And, well, actually thinking about the Germanized version Nachtwunsch, I could totally imagine that being a real German folk or medieval rock band, for instance. If Nightwish were a German band, their musical mastermind and keyboarder would be called Thomas Amloch. Thomas is the Finnish variant of Thomas, but it's very difficult to find a potential German version of the Finnish surname Holopainen. And to be honest, I don't know if my source is accurate, but from what I found out by doing research, the name Holopainen seems to be a combination of the Finnish term Holo, which means whole, and the syllables Pai and Nen which are added for phonetic reasons, because the name would sound stranger without them. And especially the syllable nen is a typical Finnish suffix that's added to many names. The German noun meaning whole is das Loch, singular, die Löcher, plural. And since one person also suggested that way back in time, people called Holopainen might have lived near a hole of sorts, and that's how this name came about in the first place, the hypothetical German surname would be am Loch because that phrase means near or at the hole, and that's why it shows this fictitious German family name. If Nightwish were a German band, their bassist and Zenger Marco Ietala would be called Marco Sand. In Germany, you will come across both forms of the name Marco with a C and Marco with a K. The very Finnish last name Ietala contains the Finnish term Ieta, which means sand, der Sand. And La has become a typical addition to names that originate from Swedish and which also mean sand. If Nightwish were a German band, their guitarist Empu Vuorinen might have been named Erno Vuorinen. Of sorts. It's actually true, I couldn't really find proper information on the origin or the meaning of Vuorinen, but since Empu's real first name is Erno and that is actually a rather old-fashioned yet still German name, he could actually keep it. The name Erno is derived from the old High German word An, which means der Adler, the eagle. If some Finnish people, some Suomi people are watching this and you might know more about the Finnish names and terms I'm mentioning in this video, feel free to tell us more in the comments. If Nightwish were a German band, their Schlagzeuger Jukka Neverleinen might be known as Johannes von dem Neva, or von dem Fluss Neva, which almost sounds like a typical German aristocratic name. Jukka is the Finnish version of the name Johannes, which actually means that it might also be the Finnish version of my real first name Jan, because it also relates to Johannes. And according to a book excerpt I found, the last name Nevalainen seems to relate to Russian river Neva, and similar to Holopainen, it seems to mean from the river Neva. In that sense, I guess Yuka had or has had some Russian ancestors and relatives, but I don't know. If Nightwish were a German band, their British whistle player Troy Donockley would rather be named Fußsoldat Donockley or something like that. Again, I couldn't really find a proper explanation of the surname and again again, if you know more, tell us in the comments. But the name Troy could either be linked to people coming from the French town Troyer, Troy, maybe, or it relates to the Irish term Troy Thief. I probably butchered that completely, sorry, but it actually means foot soldier, der Fußsoldat, singular, die Fußsoldaten, plural. But <laughs> don't worry, no German would actually be named. Fuß Soldat. Mm -mm. And if Nightwish were a German band, their Dutch Sängerin Flor Janssen would be called Florentina Janssen. 
obvious is obvious. At first I thought I'd choose the obvious German translation of the English floor, which would be der Fußboden singular, die Fußböden plural, respectively das Stockwerk singular, die Stockwerke plural, which means floor in the sense of levels in a house or in a building. But then I looked up the origin of the Dutch name floor, which is derived from Florence, which itself refers to the Italian town Firenze, which is Florence in German. And a German equivalent to the names Flor or Florence is Florentina. It's a rather rare German name though. The Dutch surname Janssen translates to son of Jan, Sohn des Jan, for der Sohn singular, die Söhne plural, the son. So I heard you find my videos helpful, entertaining and you really enjoy them? Well, thank you very much in the first place. The crowdfunding page Patreon is definitely one of the best ways to say thank you Dave and to support me. And the cool thing is you can choose to get some rewards in return. Of course you can also support me on Patreon if you aren't interested in any rewards or if you just like to tip a few dollars per month in total. Just add a maximum amount to your basic pledge on the confirmation page then. Like this. Honest heartfelt thanks for doing that, because every little bit helps. Thanks for your attention and now enjoy the rest of the video. If the band Nightwish were German, they might also have named their albums differently. Their first album would have been Engel fallen zuerst, which was released in 1996. Ozean geboren in 1998. Wunschmeister in 2000. Jahrhundertkind in 2002. Einst in 2004. Dunkles Spiel der Leidenschaft in 2007. Faszinosum in 2011. And Endlose schönste Formen in 2015. And last but not least, if Nightwish were a German band, their popular songs might have been titled Der Zimmermann, The Carpenter, Schlafende Sonne, Sleeping Sun, Wanderlust, Wanderlust. Yep, that's actually a German term, which means the lust or desire to go hiking, for wandern meaning to hike. Segne das Kind, bless the child. Jemals Traum, Ever Dream. Niemand, Nemo. Wünschte ich hätte einen Engel, Wish I had an Angel. Geist, Liebe, Spielstand, Ghost, Love, Score. Der Dichter und das Pendel, The Poet and the Pendulum. Fuchsschwanz, a colloquial term for the amaranth plant. Deine ist eine leere Hoffnung. Yours is an empty hope. Which musicians and bands should I tackle next? Tell me in the comments and also make sure to check out the video description with many interesting links to my social media and support options for the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I'm your vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.